We're good. Okay. Good afternoon. My name is John Sportson. I'm here with Zach Hyde and Nate Baker at Hawkins School. It's February 24th, about 3.30 Eastern Standard Time. This setup is to illustrate the difference between a mechanical wave and an electromagnetic wave. The mechanical wave we're using is a sound wave. The electromagnetic waves we're using are both two kinds, actually visible light and uh, the light that a cell phone uses to communicate. So what we're going to do first is I have a bell jar here which is under normal atmospheric pressure of about 100 kPa, give or take the day. Um, and now we'll have Zach ring the phone and hopefully we'll be able to hear the ringtone and see it light up. Okay, so hopefully we can hear that. It's muffled by the bell jar, but we can hear it. Now what I'm going to do is turn on this two-stage pump. It's a standard two-stage pump that you can get from any science uh, supply company. And what it will do is reduce the uh, pressure in this bell jar to about 3 kPa or 3% or so atmosphere, and it'll take a minute. So I'll turn on the pump. pump oil never hurt anybody. Okay, so now the pump is removing uh, much of the air molecules from the bell jar itself and hopefully we'll be able to see the cell phone, uh, we'll be able to communicate with the cell phone all through electromagnetic waves and visible light waves which are a type of electromagnetic wave, but we won't be able to hear anything when the phone is activated. And we'll wait just another couple of minutes, a couple of seconds actually, and hope that we've reduced the pressure far enough. I think we probably have. And okay. Now go ahead and make your call. Okay. Now we see the phone in the bell jar has lit up, but we can't hear a thing. Now we'll try to repressurize it, and we'll try to call it again. I uh, will now reintroduce matter into the bell jar. Okay, so now there's matter back in that medium, and hopefully we'll be able to... And now we can hear the ringtone again. Electromagnetic waves can travel through very low pressures. In fact, they can travel through vacuums, through almost zero pressure. But mechanical waves like sound waves need to have matter in the medium. Thank you.